Good to see you. It's been since uh, Saudi. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Hi. Lita, you remember Gage? Of course. <laughs> see Goldberg bringing his son Gage into the ring to celebrate. And what a moment for Goldberg and his family. It's hard to not say those things. Like, you're getting so big. No, oh, I know, it's, I, I know. It's too obnoxious. I resisted, but like. They come with the territory, especially when you have a 16-year-old that's a Goldberg. So you know he's going to change exponentially from month to month. So. Seems like it was just yesterday when he was uh, doing his homework backstage right before they called him out. Exactly. My name is Gage Goldberg. I'm the son of Bill Goldberg. And I've been in the ring a couple times with him. Gage! Oh, in the hard and I got choked out by Bobby Lashley. He's out. This is unbelievable. Shows that he has no nerves, and I do. So I guess you were born the cool, calm, and collective one. I'm just. Someone's yeah. got to be right. Exactly. So, so, someone's got to chill this guy out sometimes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at look at his face. I know. So what's going on? What are we doing? We're trying to get some tangible pieces okay. um, for the fans to see firsthand. I know sometimes in the moment we don't realize these things are important and maybe... Like me giving my gloves away my last match and not understanding that I might want them in the future? We'll work on that. So, yeah, I didn't know if you had anything um, from your career that we could kind of take a little walk down memory lane. You know, I would imagine there's a couple things probably hidden in the bowels of this home. It is a weird thing. I've been having that, tracking down these items, and I remember the moments, but then touching the things, it it does... Immediately gives you a connection. Yeah. That jacket from your debut, I think, would be the piece that everybody would remember. Motorcycle style. It was a Harley Davidson jacket. I think if we look hard enough, we might be able to uncover that. Let's see what we can find. Let's go. I'm already walking down memory lane, like mid jackhammer right here. Halloween Havoc, Sting, the guy who made me who I was. Sting was instrumental in bringing me into WCW. He didn't do it actively, his presence made it happen. And Goldberg's best. Sting didn't even know what hit him. We moved in about three years ago, but as you can tell, we haven't fully moved in because there are boxes <laughs> everywhere. Okay. I know he's my dad, but then sometimes you can go back and you can see how cool he was in his younger self and how big he was. It's really cool. That's Christmas stuff, and I'm Jewish, so all my stuff wouldn't be in there. And another container over here. Let me check in here. We can all picture that Harley jacket that he was marching down to the ring in. It'd be a great representation of his career and his legacy. The chances of me loaning that jacket out are probably pretty slim, if we find it. We got a box with a jacket in it. it. Means a lot to me, and you know, I don't trust anybody with any of my stuff. We're gonna have to wait and see on that one. Okay. Talk about memory lane. Tulsa Edison letter jacket. Football means everything to me. Yeah. Th that's that's who made me who I was, and this was the beginning of a journey. The only thing I ever wanted to do is play professional football, and nothing else came into the equation. I was fortunate enough to play for a short period of time, then I got hurt, and then I segued into wrestling. I think it was my destiny. The success instantly at WCW was overwhelming, but I already had been in the world of professional football. I was prepared. I was extremely lucky to be in that situation. And I wanted to utilize what I had worked on my entire life. Yeah. That was the ferocity and the... Explosions, eight, yeah, right, a, in football? An average play in football is 18 seconds. Yeah. So you got to go from a docile person to Godzilla and back again mm -hmm. every 18 seconds. And so I wanted to encapsulate what happened in that short period of time yeah. and do it in a wrestling ring. When they'd knock on my door, I'd headbutt that door as hard as humanly possible. There he is. <laughs> And after that, I'd open the door, and I was to the ring, and I would eat somebody, and then I'd come back. Yeah! Oh, he went down quick. Goldberg, who just arrived to the arena, has taken Jericho apart. And guess what? Got my right hand on. We found it. 
the orange stripe. Yes. Gosh. Look at that. So this was the WWE debut. Uh, you know, you spoke a minute ago about holding these things and the yeah. feeling you get. I just kind of got one. It was like a flashback. Walking through my pyro and seeing Rock in the ring, and it was my debut at the WWE. It brings back some weird memories. Mm -hmm. It does. I mean, just when I look at it and touch it, it's a conflicting time mm -hmm. in my life. Oh, oh that's so long I mean, I wanted to be there for the fans, and I felt like I was sleeping with the enemy. I will always feel like I was from WCW. I also feel like I finally became a member of the WWE. Yeah. Goldberg is to the Rock is the next victim! Rock was a huge deal at the time. Rock! As a football player like myself, I respected that exponentially. It's Rock all right! Goldberg may have broken the Rock in half with that spear! Got some good memories in that jacket. I got uh, the first taste of Rock's blood wearing that. Here the Rock is next! I know that fans will remember that day. Would you be open to let fans see it? I never thought this connection would resurface the way that it just did, but I'll reserve my answer for a couple minutes on that. There's only one debut jacket. I haven't said no. OK, fair. The memory that holding that jacket evoked in my mind was going through the pyro and walking down the ramp. Those are the times when I can be me and I have to turn into Godzilla in 30 seconds. I absolutely would love if the fans could reconnect with you and this chapter and your debut, if you would be open to. You know how much I love you, Lita, right? <laughs> I respect you exponentially. And because of that reason, uh, I think we should let the fans get another look at this. That's so cool. They're going to be so stoked. And I'm so appreciative for this. It's such a unique piece. Well, you're very welcome. You and Booker and Mick mean a lot to me. I mean, Thank you, you so, really do. so, so much. I know that it will be in good hands. Imagine the wrestling world with no past historical artifacts. I wouldn't for a million years want to deprive a fan that was wanting to experience a piece of that by withholding my own gear.